hello guys this is james and welcome to a new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can make a thumbnail just like this one using adobe photoshop if you see here is the actual image the camera is different there isn't any text there isn't any overly image but you can make a simplistic looking thumbnail using photoshop pretty easily and today i'm going to show you the process this will be the first non premiere pro tutorial here on my channel because i thought this is very relevant right when you are making a video and when you are uploading on youtube you need to make thumbnail so why not i show you how you can make a thumbnail so let's get started so before starting you need to make sure you are using adobe photoshop beta version because i'll be using a feature called adobe ai generative fill feature which is not available on the public release you need to use the beta photoshop app so if you go here on your creative cloud account and if you go here on this apps section and then go here which is the beta apps then you'll see all the beta apps that are available to install right just install photoshop beta after installing just open it right so this is the photoshop when you open the photoshop for the very first time you'll get a pretty similar looking window right from here you have to click new file then you need to choose a resolution that you want to make the document right youtube suggests us to make a thumbnail which is resolution is 1280 into 720 but i don't use that i use 1920 into 1080p resolution so i'll just go here on this web section and from here you'll see a preset which is web large 1920 into 1080 just select it and then click create here is your canvas here is your document and here i will be making our thumbnail right so this is the files that i will be using if you want to download the files you can find the link in the description below and you can follow along with me right so this is the image that is the main image i have shoot that image while i was recording the video so first i need to import this image here on this canvas right just click and drag it here so it will be available here on your canvas then you can press enter right if you want to change the positioning change the scaling a little bit you can click ctrl and t so it will select the transform tool right and then press alt and you can just scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out then you can press space bar to select the hand tool then you can move this canvas right now you can just click and drag it to make it a little bit bigger or smaller whichever you like so this is the base positioning that i want right press enter to apply the settings now i want to change the camera because i don't like the look of this camera i want to have a legit looking camera right so how you can change it adobe has introduced a new feature which is ai generative fill you can use that feature in adobe photoshop beta to replace anything or to manipulate any part of your image right so if you select this frame you can change this frame maybe you can write here if you click here on this generative fill then you can write just click agree then you can write whatever comment you want right so if i want to delete it i can write it if i want to change it maybe i will change it to replace the photo frame then if i press generate you will it will replace that photo frame right just you have to wait a little bit because it is very much dependent on cloud processing so it will upload the instruction and then it will download the instruction and files then it will show it here right so let's wait so you can see it has already replaced that photo frame here you'll see on the properties section which will be available here you can change the photo frame which one you like you can change that right so i'm not going to use that i'll just keep it as like it but i want to change the camera so i will make a selection so you have to go here and then from here you can select anything i'll just select rectangle marquee tool and then i'll click and drag this portion to select the camera right now you'll see the pop-up generative fill section or if you don't see you can just right click and then you can click generative fill to see this one right so just click here generative fill i'll write a comment which is replace the camera and then if i press generate it will replace my camera so it is pretty cool feature i think here in photoshop and it really saves a lot of time and effort if you don't have any gear you can just make it or replace it right so here you can see here is a camera you can change it to one or change it to one 
or if you don't like it you can again click generate maybe i will see some more options okay there are some more options that you can select <laughs> i don't like any of this except this one so i can use it or i can just click on generate 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 the problem is you will not get the same result every single time for the previous one the camera was looking great right but i'm not getting that option here so every time you click generate it will show you more option and that will be very very different than the previous one yeah this one is looking great right oh uh, no no i'll just select this one so i'll be using this camera right and now i will use another image which is this one because i was making a tutorial about time lapse so i need to use a uh, photo of time lapse right so i'll just select and click and drag it to make it a little bit smaller i'll place it here then press enter now you see there isn't any differentiating factor here so what you can do you can add a stroke so go here on this layer section if you don't see you can go window and from here you can enable layer then right click on this one which is this image right so right click and then you have to go blending options then from here you have to add a stroke which is this one click here and then select the color that you want i will add a white stroke and maybe i will increase the size a little bit and then i will add drop shadow and from here i'll increase the opacity and i'll increase the size a little bit and then i'll click and drag it to place the drop shadow here so here is our time lapse image right now i want to write a text which is time lapse select the type tool from here which is this one then click just write then press ctrl or command a to select the text then you can go here and select the font that you want i'll use papers and then i'll increase the size a little bit i'll select white color now you can place it here right so here is the text you can just make it a little bit smaller and you can just align it in the middle i'll go here on this google chrome browser i'll search premiere pro logo so i'll just click and uh, download this image now i'll save it now just click and drag it release it now you can place it so it will not show any black border right so i'll place it here this color is not popping up i want to make it also white how i can make it first i need to delete this portion so i have to go here then i will click rasterize layer and from here i will select a tool which is magic wind tool select then press delete on your keyboard click and select and then press delete right so it will make blank space here now right click here then go to blending options and from here you have to go color overlay which is this one now select a color from here and then select white color so that's it that is our premiere pro logo and lastly i want to add a arrow to direct people towards the time lapse so here is my arrow png so if i just click and drag it here you see here is the png image i have to right click here then i will click flip horizontal then i will rotate the arrow i'll scale it up just like that now i want to make it also white right click go to blending options then go to color overlay make it white right if you think that is looking a little bit bigger you can just always make it smaller just like this one just to direct people towards the time lapse text right press enter so that's almost done now select the first layer here on this layer section and select the last layer pressing the shift key 
it will select all the layers then press shift and then click here on this folder icon to group all the files together now press ctrl j to make a duplicate because always i want to make a duplicate before i merge all the layers so select the first group and then click merge so that is the image right so select this one then go to filter and from here click camera raw filter and from this section you can tweak a little bit maybe you can increase the exposure a little bit you can increase the contrast decrease the highlight a little bit you can increase the vibrance maybe you can change the temperature a bit it depends on your image right and how you want to look i will add some texture and then clarity and dehaze so that's it this is our final result so after making the thumbnail go to file and then save as and from here give it a name and select the format i'll choose jpeg then select where you want to save it and click ok and now you can just increase the quality and press ok let's see here is our thumbnail if i open it yeah you can see perfect so that's it that is how you can make thumbnails in adobe photoshop and that is the exact process that i follow to make all of my thumbnails i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing or maybe if you want to see more of this kind of tutorial you can comment me in the comment section below i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye